The Pittsburgh Steelers waive former preseason MVP Tuzar Skipper and sign a replacement. Hello, Steeler Nation, and welcome to your latest episode of this, your Pittsburgh Steelers syndicate, with some breaking news about another Pittsburgh Steelers signing. Well, guys, first of all, the um, preseason hero and pretty much a cult hero to some, Tuzar Skipper, has been waived injured by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, Skipper recovered a fumble on Saturday, but it seemingly was injured and is now waived by the Pittsburgh Steelers. If he clears waivers, he could well be added to the practice squad. However, the Steelers moved immediately to address this roster spot, despite the fact that there will be a cut down of five players tomorrow by 4 p.m. They have signed a uh, veteran undrafted free agent out of Stanford in uh, he was undrafted in 2015, James Vouters, or Vouters. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. I had to Google him. I'll be honest with you. I'd never heard of the guy when it came out. It was another signing. I needed to Google, like Rondell Carter. It's a Google candidate. So here is our bit of info, a bit of facts on that man, Rondell, on the back, not Rondell Carter, on James Vouters, Vouters, whatever he's called. He is an outside linebacker, so he adds extra depth to the outside linebacker room, replacing Tuzar Skipper. He was born on the 27th of June, 1993. He's 29 years old out of Chicago, Illinois. He's six foot two, 255 pounds. He was going to college in Stanford, Stan Stanford and was undrafted in 2015. And as you can see there, he has bounced around quite a few teams in the NFL. Green Bay, Green Bay Packers practice squad, New England Patriots practice squad. He also went and played for the Cal Calgary Stampedes, Stampeders sorry, in the CFL. He was on the San Diego Chargers practice squad. He then played for the Calgary Stampeders between 2017 and 2018 in the CFL before returning to the NFL to play for the Chicago Bears between 2019 and 2021. Then in 2021, he played for the Atlanta Falcons, where he was waived in May of this year. And the Pittsburgh Steelers picked him up off of waivers. So what do we know about... Um, James Vouters, Vouters, I'm not quite sure, like I said, how to pronounce his name. Um, you know, in his time in the NFL, he's accrued 33 tackles, two and a half sacks and one forced fumble. And in the CFL, he wrapped up, uh, wrapped up, no, racked up even, 11 sacks for the Calgary Stampeders. What a weird last name, Stampeders. Uh, prior, prior to signing with the Steelers, Vouters had remained a free agent after being released by the Falcons on May the 2nd, 2022. So the Steelers have picked him up and added him. Let's, let's have a look at his stats, his facts, what he is, uh, who he is. So in 2019, he played three games for the Bears, had three total tackles, which are three solo tackles, uh, no sacks, no forced fumbles, and, well, pretty much tumbleweed after that. In 2020, he played 14 games for the Bears. He had 22 total tackles, 15 solo, seven assisted, one and a half sacks, and uh, that is pretty much it after that. In 2021, he played 10 games for the um, Atlanta Falcons, who did have a very poor season in 2021. He had eight tackles, four solo, four assisted, one sack, one forced fumble. So, you know, he's seen limited action in the NFL, limited action certainly for someone of his age. Uh, Vouters is 29 years old and will bring some experience to the Pittsburgh Steelers roster. I can't help but feel that this is just another camp body to supplement the numbers at outside linebacker. You know, the linebacker positions for me still remain a concern going into the 2022 NFL season. If you look at the... Um, Outside linebacker position behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, it pretty much is a case of Jannard Avery, who has been injured on a number of occasions during preseason, and also Derek Tushka and Delonte Scott, and now James Vouters. Again, not a massive, uh, well, Rondell Carter, we seemingly forget, but I think he may well be cut tomorrow. Inside linebacker, Miles Jack, who was uh, was very, very good on Saturday. And once he went off and was rested, the team looked very different in stopping the run once Jack was not there. Bush had a poor game. Spillane had a poor game. Buddy Johnson was fairly awful. Mark Robinson did a, a decent job when he came onto the field. However, the, out, the inside linebacker position does really concern me. In fact, the whole linebacker court does concern me going into the 2022 season, although we are in possession of only 33.3% of the preseason 
in data at this point. But a different, but a new signing, again, one I had to use Google for, James Vouters. I do apologize. I'm not the fountain of all knowledge on all NFL players. Um, like I said, I think he'll be a camp body. He will probably survive this cut, but I doubt he will survive the second cut. Or um, will definitely, I don't think, make the practice squad or even the 53-man roster. The only way he could, I suppose, was be going to come in and pretty much blow the Steelers away in the next two preseason games and in any all of camp drills. Who knows, guys? Let me know what you think of the signing of James Bowers in the comments below. And I'll be back to speak to you tomorrow on the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Thank you for watching, guys. And we're going to finish this as we always do, guys, with here we go, Steelers. Come on!